Uh, you factored a squared minus b squared, which is a difference of two perfect squares, and you factored it like this, a plus b, a minus b. But now what we're going to do is we're going to factor the sum, okay, which means you're adding two squares, two perfect squares. And the way we're going to factor this is a plus bi times a minus bi. Now look what happens here. Uh, let's do an example first and I'll show you. So let's say we wanted to factor x squared plus 100, right? So if we use this formula right here, you can see this should factor as x plus 10i, okay, x plus 10i times x minus 10i, right? Okay, now let's just double check by multiplying these together. So if we do the distributive property, we get x times x, which is x squared, x times negative 10i, which is negative 10ix, and then if we distribute the 10i, we get plus 10ix, and then we get a negative 100i squared. Okay, now i squared, you know from previous videos and you know, from your classes uh, so far that i squared is negative 1. So we have a negative 1 times a negative 100 is so positive 100. Here we have x squared and we have a negative 10ix and a positive 10ix. Those are canceling. So we're left back with x squared plus 100. So that's the key. If you know the formula, you've got it. It's basically recognizing that you have a perfect square plus a perfect square.